That's a horse of a different color. I saw my friend Bill's YouTube video about this 800 year old archaeological site, there was something that piqued my curiosity. I wanted to just go explore it, see if I could probably create some kind of a photo shoot with it or maybe just shoot a video. I don't know. It was an intuitive kind of response to something that, that, that piqued my interest. Imagine this is the entrance way to your home. Yeah, I'd like that. It wasn't until 2002 that a few bricks were discovered sticking up above the sediment, the earth. I'm pointing the camera at the few bricks that were discovered and they began excavating this site. My initial intuitive um, attraction to this place was to bring a model and do some still photography. Now I wanted to check the site out in person to see if that was doable and appropriate, and apparently it is. So the way to make this shoot a little bit more interesting is to invite a Burmese princess. So these wonderful ruins date back to a time when the northern part of what we now call Thailand or Siam was occupied by the Lana Kingdom and they were in constant conflict with the Burmese. Great wars were fought over these properties and the Lana Kingdom was victorious. So it would be nice to have a Burmese princess but I have Jing and her sister, who is the assistant. And Jing is Burmese, but she works at the Gecko Garden Restaurant, which is a nice place to check out. Thank you, ladies. That was a wonderful photo shoot. I really do appreciate it. Cop kun cop. So the Gecko Restaurant is kind of hard to describe, but I want to promote it, but in an honest fashion. So these are my two models have come back here with me for lunch. And the Gecko Garden Restaurant is a very congenial place. The food is good. They have a pretty big menu of both Western and Thai stuff. And, you know, cute waitresses that will also take a side gig as a bottle. <laughs> I'm standing outside the old city. Well, we saw today that the old city is uh, really old and that's a uh, was buried under sediment and they just recently dug it, dug it up. But when they moved from that old site where I was filming earlier today, they moved to this point. The Chiang Mai city that now exists today. And this is the Chiang Mai gate, one of the major gates. Where I'm standing is actually over the moat, which still exists as well. Clearly not where I'm standing, but further along on either side of where I'm standing, there is still a moat. This is a walled, moated city. Now, here on the grass, just a few days ago, I was hanging out with a couple of locals who were just as hospitable as anybody else that I met in Thailand. Just a bunch of guys hanging out on the grass here, drinking some hooch, which they were very generous at offering me some, and I just wanted to take a few pictures. Another example of Thai hospitality. For the past three nights, I've eaten at this stand with the Pudkar Prao and uh, 
other good Thai dishes. And tonight I made a little bit of change and uh, came over to this uh, stand where I got a uh, pork noodle soup that was downright scrumptious for about a dollar forty. Great place to eat. So I'm out to go see a band. This is not it. This is just a club nearby. But I thought if I don't like the band, I could always come back here and get in trouble. At the karaoke place where there are about 15 women all dressed with the same dress. And now, for something completely different. I'm standing on McKeon Island in the early 20th century. The royal family bequeathed this island to a Western physician, a doctor named McKeon. Dr. McKeon took care of lepers. And leprosy was a terrible disease. It wasn't even really cured up until the 1950s. And now it barely exists in the world anymore. But it uh, back in the... Uh, prior to the cure for leprosy, it was a horrible disease. It, it caused deformities and it was very contagious. So what would happen is that lepers would live in communities amongst themselves. And that's what this became. It became a leper colony. And these, these cottages over here have been rehabilitated a bit. Uh, they're in decent shape, but they date back to the 1920s when this was a full-fledged community of, of uh, people with leprosy. They had their own uh, stores, their own police department, their own currency, because people outside the community did not want to handle the same money that would, had been touched by lepers. This very poetic prose etched into the marker uh, talks about a mighty banyan tree who these missionaries uh, came up the Ping River uh, and, and moored here in 1867. And this uh, goes on to tell the story about how the land was bequeathed to uh, Dr. McKeon later in the century to become the leper colony that it became. And again, good people, you know, physicians who were out helping really sick people, being healers. I think it's a wonderful story. As is often the case, with the videos that I make. I begin shooting a video, hoping that I have enough material to make a, a video long enough. And now I'm at the point where it's like I have way too much. This McKeon Island is just an interesting place. I mean, I'm just killing time to my train leaves. My buddy Bill here says, hey, let's go to McKeon Island. And I'm like, damn, I could shoot a whole video just about this place. <laughs> Just about two years ago, I picked up a camera and started shooting videos and still photography. It gave me something to do during uh, the COVID crisis that has developed into a really fun and passionate pursuit for me. And one of the things that's different about uh, photography and making videos is that I can respond to uh, intuitive impulses or creative impulses. If I get an idea about something, I, all I have to do is follow through on it. And I'm finding it to be a really fun endeavor. Uh, I just spent the last three days in Chiang Mai, up in Northern Thailand, uh, shooting pictures and making videos. And tonight I'm getting on one of these babies for an overnight train back to Bangkok. I like trains. They give you time to relax and think, and in my case, edit a whole bunch of photographs and videos. I don't even know what this video is gonna look like. I have so much footage that I got plenty of, uh, and plenty of time to play with it on this thing. It's a 13 hour ride between here and Bangkok and I'll get five or six hours sleep during that time as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time. I get a crazy impulsive creative idea. I don't know, maybe it'll just be a routine. Who knows, I'll see you the next time.